Hello, welcome back, friends and family. To Ratchet and Clank. I am Octo, and this is Ratchet and Clank, and we are back in the fortress of the quarks. In the fortress of the quarks, um, to meet him, he wanted our help, and whatever you saw in the last episode. I don't need to recap for you, but uh, I did say in the last episode that I was going to talk about the Ratchet and Clank movie again because I realized in between recordings that I already talked about it. But this is actually a topic that I was going to discuss that is, um, I guess, pretty important, I guess you'd say. I don't fucking know. Okay, hello there, sir. I forgot about you. Fishy dude. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Okay, let's kill this dude. Jumpy fish ass boy. There you go. Okay, so the Ratchet and Clank movie. Which, by the way, I am going to play the game when it comes out, day one, because I have, will have finished this Let's Play by then. And, you know, I compare and stuff. I would like to have played all the other games, but because apparently there are some, like, insider stuff from the other games and all that. But I, I'll mention it later. Um, but I did, what I did want to talk about was, um, I just checked the trailer, looked at the trailer before this, so I, you know, had it in mind. And in the title of the trailer, I mean, it's, it's Ratchet and Clank, the trailer one, or whatever. But then, it says, like, Bella Thorne, which, I know who that is. She's a fucking Disney Channel's star, in quotation. And I mean, nobody, they don't, they don't make it. No, but everybody, not one, I just realized I've got a gold bolt as well. Okay, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> um, they don't make it. Milo Cyrus is semi-famous, but that's just because she went batshit crazy. Um, also, there's a gold bolt down here. That's weird, right? I mean, that's very hidden. Your only clue is that... If we walk out here, there we go. There is that. Yeah, we're back here. There's just this closed door. Um, but uh, what? As I was saying, like one Disney star made it, and like all the Disney quote-unquote stars tried a music career and whatever, and failed, and is forgotten by long. Um, but that, <laughs> that was not, like, the main thing I was going to talk about. Um, why is her name so plastered on? We don't even... She's apparently playing a character called Korra. Which is not Korra the Avatar. That would, that would be a pretty cool pre pretty cool crossover, though. Avatar and Ratchet and Clank. Damn. I'm, ju I'm just thinking of... Oh, okay, there are fish in here. I just remembered. I gotta be careful about that. So they don't gobble me up. There you go. That would be a pretty cool co crossover. But no, this is, a, this is a new character apparently. Which we know nothing about. She wasn't even in the trailer. And why is she getting so fucking big name? Why is she such a big name? She's not. She... She's, she's a bitch. No, literally. Because... Some of you may know that she like hosted the Kids Choice Awards or whatever, and uh, that Felix Shelberg, aka PewDiePie, won a thing, and and they joked he couldn't be there or whatever he didn't go, which I mean is kind of if you're nominated, I mean, but other countries and stuff, because most of those most of those Kids Choice Awards people live in the U.S. and whatever. That's not really part of it. She read up his name, well, not really, because she like something, something, something about his last name. Because she, Shelberg is a fucking common name in Sweden, so just back the fuck off. Um, and, be, but, I mean, famous people don't do that to each other. I think there's like a whole game theory about it, but that's just asshole-ish. And now she's apparently this big fucking name in the Ratchet and Clank movie, which I am not for at all. Because... 
I don't I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think she'll do good. And I don't think she deserves more credit than the actual voice actors for Ratchet, Clank, and Captain Quark, which obviously are the main characters in the movie. <sighs> okay, so that really grinds my gears. I just wanted to mention that. Or rather, that became a little rant. I am not realizing. <laughs> Whatever. I just wanted to talk about that. Otherwise, the... The, the trailer it seems good. It seems very 2015-ish, if you know what I mean. Like it's um, it's it's a, it's a kids movie from 2015. It it makes a lot of jokes and or I guess 2016, but whatever. Um, it makes a lot of jokes and like pop culture stuff. And there's like this pop song that it plays over the thing, which I mean. It could still be good. There's a lot of some funny jokes that are in the trail. I love the the the, the mommy thing with with the, one of Drake's henchmen, which is I, I I did laugh at that the first time I saw it. Um, yeah. So I'll I'll keep my hopes up, but this whole Bella Thorne thing, no, I don't approve of that. That's just straight up bullshit. Um, oh, hi, Quark. How you doing, bro? Well, well. You two continue to surprise Why, me. Why, thank you, sir. Step into the ring of heroes, and I will finally give you what you deserve. Ratchet, Nothing good ever no happens after somebody cautious. says that. We have reached our goal. I don't know. Yeah. There's something fishy going yeah, Exactly. On Listen to your little metal friend, Ratchet. Your destiny is mere steps away. Don't do it. It's just something doesn't seem right. Exactly. This is it. Quark is going to help us stop Cheb and Drek. Why, thank you, Clank. You've been most helpful. Yep. It's trap. It was trap. Yep. Get off of me, you idiot. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. We're fucked. We're dead. What do you mean? What do you think he means, genius? He's not going to help us. He's going to kill us. Kill us. You catch on quick. Although there is one problem with your hypothesis. I'm not going to kill you. You're not? No. no. He, he is. is. That's such a lame thing that happens all the time. Why? But why? It's oh, really, Quirk? Difficult to decipher. I'm the official spokesman for Drek's new planet. I can't have you two getting in the way of my comeback. This isn't over, Quark. No. But it will be soon. So we gotta kill this dude. No big... Okay, he has a lot of health. Okay, jump. He has powers. I don't like that. I have guns, but he has powers. He's basically... Damn, a metahuman. Have you guys seen Flash? It's a great show. I saw, like... Well, the first episode because I don't download because I think it's bad. So I'm waiting to like get it on DVD or something because season two has already started, so it probably will be releasing season one soon. Here, I mean, I guess it's already out in the U.S. I should probably be talking about the boss fight, shouldn't I? <laughs> Stop choosing your eye laser. It's not. It's not fun. You should just fuck off, dude. Stop! So what we need to do is, like, shoot off one bit of health. You know, they're cut up to chunks. We get it. Kill one chunk of it, and then we'll just, like, he'll follow us. And we go out over a bridge. And then he the bridge collapses, and the, the thing... You just saw what happened. I don't need to explain. There's one move that he does that I don't appreciate. That I guess will be coming soon. Yeah, follow me. Follow me towards your defeat, sir. There you go. Don't shoot your things. You're not Mario. You're not Mario. Get the fuck away. Okay, I think. Wait. The... No? Still with the head laser. He does like a tornado thing that takes out all the ammo I have. Don't, don't step on me. 
Ow. Okay, don't do that. Oh, oh, he, he was beginning to do it, but I need to stop for some reason. Okay, okay, okay. Just, 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 there you go, okay. He didn't do it. Okay, good, because then you, like, have to go collect all your ammo, and it's just a drag. Bye, guy. Die in lava. Yay, platforms. That'll burn my butt if I don't stand on it. It's pretty weird that the music doesn't change. I feel that's weird. Because that makes it less epic. I wonder epic. what that info bot is for. Maybe it can replace you. Oh. Yeah. We're pinned down! We're pinned down! The ships are hammering our position from the air! That was a little too close! We need support! Now! Actually, I need support. My entire battalion went AWOL and left me to fight this war on my own. If the enemy doesn't kill those guys, I will. I'm not going to last much longer. Request an immediate assistance. Over and out. I think he's in trouble. Those are direct ships destroying that planet. We must help that commando. Are you serious? That's it. I am out of here. So yeah. Captain Quark is going to be sorry he messed with me. Yeah, Ratchet this is, is not pretty pissed at Clank right now. There are innocent lives being lost. Yeah? Well, I'm done with this stupid hero stuff. I got my own agenda now. Ratchet. You won't be seeing this in the movie, movie, I'll tell you what that. Do you know about me? You've spent this whole time looking for Quark. You don't know anything about me. I know that you will do the right thing. Well, right now the thing I want to do is find Quark. How do you start this stupid thing? Have you forgotten? You need a robotic ignition system. I will start the ship if you agree to help that commando. So, blackmail is it? Fine. <laughs> Just shut up. He knows his blackmail but still goes with it. I guess he doesn't have a choice. Elsewhere aboard Supreme Executive Chairman Drex flagship. Back so soon? Oh, you're talking to me. I'm not in the habit of talking to myself, you buffoon. Did you get rid of them? Yes. No. Well, I, I had this plan, and I thought... You thought? Wait, so you he know we didn't die? Why didn't he come back and kill us? Around here, you slug brain idiot. I simply needed you to eliminate those two nuisances before they could cause any real trouble. But I wanted to... Do you still want to be the highly paid spokesman for my planet? Yeah. Then the next time I send you to do a job, I want results! Now get out of my sight! You know what I just realized? If Chairman Drek would have offered that job to Ratchet, I think he'd take it. I think he'd take it, because in this game he's very greedy and selfish, which we just saw. Because now he, all, all he wants is revenge on Captain Quirk. I think he'd take it. That makes a, I think that makes a good character, the flaws. Wait, I'll talk about it soon, wait. Because now, cutscene. Add attention, you deserting maggots! You call me maggot? Fuck off. Wall, I'll shoot you myself. Look, I just want to zip it, worm. You see those bombers? If you don't get to the turrets and knock those ships out of the sky, this whole planet's going to be rubble. Meet me at the city entrance. He needs our help. Yeah? Why don't you go help him? Into another trap. Well, go on. Go fight some evil. At least I'm not a coward. Oh, no, he didn't. Whatever. Oh no, he did! Oh snap! Oh snap! Quick, you be dog, dude. That's not. That doesn't even make sense. But snap, dude! Oh my god! So yeah, I think he'd take it seriously because he's very greedy in this game. I got some oh, great screw you. off! I need 500 more bolts for this. The Devastator is a great gun. It shoots rockets. It's a rocket launcher. God damn it. I guess I'll Ooh, that's a nice just one. shut up. Just stock up on this ammo. But yeah, I think that makes a great character, the flaws. Because I still love Ratchet in this game. And I mean I know the movie is not all based on the game, but and that Ratchet character like as soon as we go over to the PlayStation 3 games, all of this greediness and personality really disappears. Because then he like he becomes the the, the good heart, the the 
the virgin. Y you know what I mean. Oh, what is happening? Now we're grinding. You know what I mean. Oh, right. I was supposed to jump there. I forgot about that. Um, you know the one with, with the with the intentions and the good heart and the I can't do wrong, which I mean it becomes very boring when every character has, has to be like that. Kill this fucking mine with my with my hatchet? No, that's not with my wrench. That is the one I'm looking for. Also, I'm going to get hit right there because if you don't get hit, you get a skill point. And I've talked about this before, but um, I'm now I'm going to get all of the skill points at the end of the let's play. Okay, I got hit anyway, so I can't get hit again because then I'll die, and that's no fun. But yeah, that makes it. G oh, well, shit then. <laughs> let's try that again. There's a box here. I almost missed that. Okay, let's go. But that makes a great character. The flaws. That's why you identify with him. That's why. Okay, this. I've talked a lot about a lot about this with people. But um, screw attacks, death battle between Superman and Goku. I totally agree with them. Um, I'm not a DBC fan myself. Or not a Dragon Ball fan or whatever at all. I haven't seen Dragon Ball ever. It's not part of my childhood, so it uh, doesn't really matter to me. Um, but I can tell when a character is a character and not a goal, which I thought they got across very good at the remake of the of the death battle. But people still get pits because... <laughs> Goku's bad character is way more powerful, but no, Superman is as powerful as he needs to be. That's just why Superman is Superman. He is a Superman. There is not a single goal that he can't, like, do. Can't, can't, can't do. Or whatever, you know what I mean. That became a double negative, but you know what I mean. Superman is not a character. Superman is a is an idea of a perfect human which is so boring Pop, right who are you? oh hey good who hi are you dude doing? we are on a mission to save the galaxy speak for yourself and put your hands down you look ridiculous actually i don't care who you are i've got to get the heck out of here i joined the army to get money to go to college i never knew i'd end up in a war There's space college <laughs> this is a noble cause sir noble my hiney I just want to get home to my family. Here, I pulled this off a busted robot. Give me some bolts for a bus fare and it's yours. That is an expensive bus, sir. The plumber at the beginning of the game needed 500 bolts to get off the planet. To take a ship to get off the planet. This guy needs 200 bolt, 2,000 bolts to get a bus. I mean, it's probably not a bus, but you know Good what I mean. Good luck saving the galaxy or... Whatever. Thanks, mate. Greetings, Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. As you can see, I'm ratchet. we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech fighters using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. And it failed. <laughs> Pretty obvious. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Poor guy. Oh, if they ever get the kinks worked out of that thing, I have got to get me one of those. If they are working for Chairman Drek, they may know where he is. Is that all you can think about, Drek this and Drek that? I got my own problems. No, you don't. If you cannot see the importance of this situation, you do have problems. Yeah, oh. Well, if you're so smart, how come you fell for Quark's stupid trick? They're just so sassy. Ah, forget it. We both need to get to this planet, and that's all that matters. Wow. What was I talking about? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really matter because this is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Ratchet and Clank. Don't forget to like, subscribe, a lot of fun stuff. I'll see you next time.